Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered, I'm Penj, and welcome back to Dredge. Where last time we crashed our boat, we got given a lovely new one, and then we did some fishing. And inside a slightly weird looking fish, we found a fancy handkerchief. And we didn't really think anything of it at the time, it was just a weird oddity that we'd found. But then while we were just sort of hanging around on our boat, somebody appeared at the window and said, you, I know what you've got there, bring that fancy handkerchief over to me please, we're going to have a little chat about it. So I think we go and do that right now now. It's a lovely new day. It's Saturday, day six, six in the morning, a whole day ahead of us. I think we leave the dock and head to the north, was it? Was it the north? It's over in that direction. It's over to the right. Is that the north or the south? I'm not quite sure, but we'll head over in that direction. We'll sort of skip all the fishing for now because I think we might need all of the time we've got to get over there because our boat yeah it's going okay we've got the two engines but it's still not going overly quickly so we'll just sort of you know make our way over here we might be able to do some fishing at the end of the day that is actually a little bit nearer than i thought it was okay so where is the dock can we dock over here uh, yeah, there. I think that's the dock. It's not a sticky out dock like the other one. But there we go. Right. So we'll just sort of, you know, parallel park up at the dock. That's good. There we go. Blackstone Isle. That's it. So, uh, yeah, we can go to the ruined mansion. There is a workshop over there. What's that? The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Okay, can we go inside, have a poke around? You enter, taking a moment to let your eyes adjust to the dim light. What do you want to do in here? Pick up items or leave. Is it a bit rude if we just turn up at this island and then just effectively go and rob that person's little kind of workshop outhouse thing? Um, we'll go and have a little look around. Is there anything useful? Pick up items. You find some horrifying creations among the detritus. Okay, we found an arterial engine. The bony blades of this grotesque engine are driven by a pulsing heart. It beats in time with your own. Okay. That's quite horrendous. And we found a sign of ruin. A symbol of the deep is carved into this small talisman. It's sure to draw the attention of those attuned to it. I don't want to take any of those things. I don't want a mysterious talisman that's going to draw attention to us. And I definitely don't want an engine, a boat engine, that's made out of a pulsing heart. I'm just going to put those back. Bye-bye. Thank you. Right, let's go to the ruined mansion. The man is standing in a doorway watching you approach. Hopefully he didn't see us take a little look around his workshop. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. Okay, still his kind of face is in shadow. He's a very mysterious person. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. Ah, okay, he stepped into the light. Okay, that's very good. I like your glasses. Good beard as well. You give the handkerchief to the collector. Okay, so that's gone. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. Okay, is that the ship that we've been picking up little kind of notes about in the sea? The Julia, was it? It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be a challenge. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Okay, yeah, I like the sound of that. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> An infinite teapot. That sounds very wonderful. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Yeah, I like the sound of that. I accept. Wonderful. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. It's made of regular things, isn't it? And not, you know, human flesh and bones or whatever. Okay, so a couple of hours tick by. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. Presumably the key to the music box. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Okie doke, will do. So now can we do dredging? Are we able to go and do dredging now? Have we got fancy? It looks like there's a new thing on the back of the boat. Um, so, on our way here, I did notice just there in front of us, I think, is that a dredging spot? Can we go over there and dredge this stuff? Are we able to go and do that now? Yeah, okay, right. Let's go and do some dredging in the game called Dredge. Uh, press F to change lanes and avoid the gaps. Um, hang on, but how, what are we supposed to do? 
Oh, I see. We have to keep dodging the things. I see. Until we get to the top on the left-hand side. Okay. We found a worn gold ring. Okay, right, we'll put that in the bow. Um, thank you to a few people in the comments who pointed out, by the way, that that little bit over there is kind of like a holding area if we need to rejig our hold a bit. So I think last time we had a big fish and I couldn't fit it in. I was like, oh, well, that's got to go away. But we could have done a little bit of kind of, you know, inventory Tetris and maybe fitted it in if we'd used that kind of temporary space down there. I didn't know that, but there we go. So, okay, we found ourselves a worn gold ring. Gold always holds its value. Okay, right, so that's quite good. Um, we still need to find some squid. But yeah, a few people did point out as well that we keep depleting the fishing spot. So maybe yeah, we should actually avoid all the fishing stuff for today. There was another dredging spot over here, was it? Was it all the way over here somewhere? I forget which one it was. It was there, look. There's like a pile of of wood or something. I don't know, rubble or something floating about. We'll have a go at that. Let's so start dredging. So, okay, so... Dodge the bits. I can get it now. Just flip between the two lanes. That's fine. I get that. Right. So we've found a pile of wood. A load of lumber. And we need that to do various kind of uh, little sort of boaty upgrade things. That's quite good. Oh, we can dredge again. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's pick up more stuff. That's always going to be useful. We just hang around on the outside track. Then go to the inside. Right. So now that's all gone. But we have picked up a decent amount of wood. Okay. And now... With the hour getting a little bit late, I think we head back home. The light is on, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Right, so the lights are on. The little sort of panicky eye has appeared at the top. However, are there squid? Are there any squid? We need some squid. Are you squid? Are you squiddies? Uh, yes. Okay, right, this is perfect. This is what we need to do. We're going to catch these. We need a couple of these, and we can complete the sort of one of the goals for the uh, fishmonger. I think... Ooh! Hang on. That's a brood squid. Tentacles sprout from a glowing core inside a gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside. Well, that just sounds horrific, but okay. <laughs> oh, dear me. This game is really quite sinister at points, isn't it? Um, Can we go over there? Is that squid? Are you squid? Can we get some regular squid? I think that might be eels. Uh, do you know what? We'll grab... Oh, it's a special eel. <gasps> I think we found a, a super eel. Oh, that's quite good. We'll take that right so in there and in there. Okay, and another one. It is getting a bit late. I'm a little bit concerned. We might need to just go home. Let's just head home now. It's going to be very late by the time we get back. There we go. Look, home, sweet home. And okay, so let's pull up at the dock. Uh, oh, what's that? There's something in the background. I haven't got a mouse pointer, but there's something weird going on behind those trees. There's like a weird spirally thing like a tornado or something okay right there's, there's a lot of odd things happening we're just gonna do normal things to begin with okay oh crikey everyone wants to talk to us right hello um first things first fishmonger have we got any fish for that order yes um okay so we've got that but i don't think that's gonna count is it or does that count does that count um i mean it is a squid it's a brood squid but it's still a squid um, and what do we get if we sold that? Can we sell that? That is... Um, I don't know. D let's put that in there for now. And we'll just sit. That completes that order and it'll be fine. But I kind of feel like that's some sort of special thing. Do you know what? We'll take it out. We'll catch a proper one and put it into there. Okay, so that's done. Uh, right, regular business. So can we get rid of that? Sell that one. That's fine. Sell that one for a bit of money. That's okay. And then what do we do with that? That's twenty nine seventy nine. Uh, some contain abnormal specimens. Okay, yeah, that's pink or a purpley colour, so that is abnormal. So do we just do we sell that? Okay, right. So nothing kind of nothing exciting happened with that one. Okay, right. That's fine. That's good. So that's that sorted. Not quite got that golden yet, but never mind. Uh, right. The builder wants to talk to us. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. Okay, hello. What's it like out there? Peaceful, difficult, I don't want to talk about it. Weird. Weird is what it's like out there. There are weird things. I mean, there's a weird kind of purpley red light there. That's a little bit weird. Um, I'm going to say it's difficult. It's got to be a damn sight better than this blimmin' town, she says. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. Um, 
I mean, it's not so bad here. It's okay. I've, I might have been to worse places. I don't know. It's not so bad. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit too. Okay, just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job is done. Okay, Steel Point. Where is Steel Point? I'm not quite sure. The mayor wants to have a chat. What can I do for you? Um, oh, right. That's just a nice sort of polite chat. Okay, hang on. I'll get back to fishing in a sec because the lighthouse keeper, the creepy lighthouse keeper also wants to have a chat. Oh, no, we want to go to them. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Great Tomorrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an a natural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. Okay, yeah, we can see the unnatural glow. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. What am I looking for? I'm looking for weird things that chappy wants to find, dot, dot, dot. Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds a lantern up so it shines brightly onto your face. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? Dot, dot, dot. Okay, who lives on Blackstone? Oh, do you know any more about the mysterious collector guy? I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing. Right, I should go. Okay, so we talk to the lighthouse keeper. The builder... Um... Okay, hang on. So what do you want me to do? That's fine. Give her some wood and some metal. That's okay. We'll do that eventually. Why do you want to leave? There are too many painful memories here. I don't want to be living them anymore. It's been difficult to talk about. You know how it is. It doesn't do when you go to dwell too deeply on the past. Anything else? Uh, what do you know about the area? Greater Marrow? Well, it was once a bright and thriving little town, if you can believe it. There was plenty of work for me and my crew. New houses and shops every other month. We made a fair bit of money out of it too. But, I don't know, I guess a bubble burst or something. I don't know how these things work. People started leaving. My crew left. I stayed. Anything else? Okay, so I'd better get on with it. And then let's have a chat to the mayor. So what can I do for you? Uh, okay, what happened to the last fisherman? Can you provide any more information? Huh? The last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. I mean, we're possibly not too much better. On our way here, we crashed into some rocks, even though there was a lighthouse. <laughs> so we can't be too critical. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now, what else can I do? Okay, so what about strange occurrences? Well, I heard that my counterpart in Little Marrow met the most unfortunate end. They say he went mad quite suddenly. One day was normal, the next he was pacing the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included, and those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. Now, what else can I do? Okay, shipwrecks. Shipwrecks, unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around this side of the island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Around the back, though, it's a little harder to get to. There are still some wrecks to all the deeper patches. You'll want to avoid that area. Okay, no, we want to head out to that area. Now, what else can I do? And then just kind of ask about the wider region. Is there somewhere in particular? Um, oh, yeah, these are all the different bits we saw on the map last time. Okay, Blackstone Isle. I don't know a great deal. It technically falls under the jurisdiction of Little Marrow. I believe it was sold to a private owner some 20 years ago. They must have had a special arrangement. Such a sale is quite uncommon. Very complicated paperwork involved, you see. Yeah, nobody likes filling in forms and paper. I've not met the owner. I have. I suspect they don't live around here. The island seems quite uninhabited. I mean, they live in the, they live in the house on the island. Is there another area? Okay, just work our way down. Gale Cliffs. Well, the main port over there is a place called Ingfell. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left one way or another. Okay, 
That's a whaling town. So the Stella Basin, which has an amazing name. Quite a popular tourist destination. There is, there's a resort on the atoll built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those. Okay. So not too much information about each place. Right, Twisted Strand. I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mass of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You'd want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you were to go exploring there. Okay, we don't have good lights, and I don't have a good sense of direction. So, okay, maybe we avoid whatever it was, the twisted strand for a while. And then finally, the Devil's Spine. Ah, yes, it's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. Okay, that I was not expecting. Okay, though. I must caution against sailing there, however, in red. Okay, the ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hull. Not to mention, the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Is there another area? Okay, I think we've done it all. That's all for now. Okay, so I think that's kind of it. I should get back to fishing. I should get back to bed, I suppose. So I think we've spoken to everybody. Um, do we keep that lumber for ourselves or do we drop it off at that place, which the builder wants. Hang on, hang on. Go to our cabin, water our things. We're 64% reading that book. That's quite good. And um, yeah, what have we got to do? Search for relics, that's fine. Um, lumber and scrap. Where was that? Uh, Steel Point, an island to the north. Okay, so how do we get... where? Ah, M is our map, okay. Um, I assume that's it there then, because it's got the marker points on. So I assume, yeah, that is... That's Blackstone Isle. What's that there, then? What's that there? That's going to be the place where she wants to set up a new little kind of house or whatever. Why is that marked? Is that just an exciting point where we have to go and dredge and do some digging or whatever? Okay, hang on. Pursuits. Relics. Maybe that's where the, maybe that's where the relics are. Maybe that's where we have to go. Uh, okay, okay, that's fine. I think what we'll do is we'll go and drop that stuff off first for the builder. Because we've got it in our hull right now and it's just sort of sitting about. So we'll drop that off first and then we'll do some fishing. And then maybe the day after that, we'll go around the back of Greater Marrow and just see what's going on there. But of course, there is the whatever is making that terrifying kind of red sky beam thing. So we might have to possibly make sure we're back by night time. Okay, brand new day, six o'clock in the morning. Let's undock and we shall head over to that place where the builder lady wants to go and live. Hang on, have we got the stuff? Have we got the stuff? There we go. Two big old bits of wood. Right. So I think, I think she is over there. Okay. So we need to kind of come out of here and then go north over in that direction. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we'll go and do this first. We'll drop this off and then, oh, hang on. Hang on though. We are going past. Oh, that's no, fish. I thought that was some uh, dredging stuff, but no, it's actually fish. That's okay. Right. We'll head out to there because if that's stuff to dredge, is that dredging stuff? Is that moving? Because if we could get the two bits of metal as well, that would be quite handy, wouldn't it? That looks like scrap. Oh, that's quite good. If we could just, this is really easy, just hop onto the, there's only one little sort of blocker thing on the outside. Oh, oh, that's a research part. Oh, this is quite good, isn't it? Can we pick up quite a few of those? Because they're quite handy. Okay, just keep the wheel moving around. And that's some metal scraps, okay. And then if we do it again, can we pick up some more metal scraps? Because then we can just take everything over to that island and get it all done in one go. And that's some more metal scraps. Okay, that's really good. That's really, really handy. Okay, so now we've got the two bits of lumber and the two bits of metal scrap that we need to take over to that place. Okay, that's perfect. That was really, really good. That was very good. Right, okay, where is this place? And I think, is it over there? There's a little dock over there. So I think it might be over there. We've not been out this far before. We've not been over here yet. This is very exciting. Uh, there's some stuff over there. Is that fish? Okay, there's some fish over there. I do like how you can't see all the way over there. Kind of, you know, there's a bit of a fog thing. And then it just sort of, an island sort of just appears off in the distance. There's a very tall tree over on that one. Right, so if we pull over at this dock, I think this is the one where we need to drop those things off. Okay, steel point. Yeah, material pile. Okay, so this is the island where the builder wants the materials delivered. Okay, and we can absolutely oblige. Uh, although we need to rotate things round a bit. Okay, so pop that in, pop that in, and oh, hang on, drop that in, and then drop that in, and we're done. You've delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. Okie doke, we will do. However, 
right now it is quarter past two. So we'll undock. That over there looks like a dredging spot to me. Oh, hang on. Oh, we've completed our book. We've finished our book. What does that do? Uh, that one there. Rods will reel fish in 10% more effectively. Okay, that's never a bad thing. Being more effective is a good thing. Oh uh, yeah, what's all that? Can we dredge whatever this stuff is? Okay, we'll have the oh, crikey, that moves quite quick. Okay, right now this is fine. Everything is fine. It moves pretty quickly, but I think we can grab it. A bolt of cloth. Okay, so we've got cloth. Okay, we'll store that there. What time is it? Quarter past four. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous that we might possibly get back quite late, but okay, it's going to be fine. I just sort of hop between the two things and I think we should be okay. Okay, another roll of cloth. Okay, right, so pop that in. That could be handy for various other upgrades and things. Uh, right, okay, turn around. There's, I mean, there's all sorts of junk around here. Oh, hang on. There's a shipwreck there. I can see the ship under the water. We might possibly have to come back here at another point, but we'll just do a tiny spot of dredging over there. <gasps> Shinies. Okay, yeah, we'll have some shinies, please. Oh dear, I'm not doing very well at that though. Hang on a minute. Right, dodge and dodge. Makes my eyes go a bit funny, that one does. Right, hang on, and like that. And there we go. We've got a goblet. Oh, very fancy. Okay, yeah, I think we head home for now, but we come back here because there's all sorts of exciting bits and bobs. Oh dear me. Okay, right, where's the lighthouse? Head toward that and... I mean, try and avoid anything else. Like yeah, that big rock that's in front of us. Try to avoid the big rocks because that's going to cause a problem. Okay, right, we might be late for bed tonight. We might be home a little bit late, but here we go. Right, let's try and get home if we can and not crash into things. Okay, there's something a little bit weird going on in front of us. What is that? There's a weird thing. What is the weird thing? Hello, weird thing. Can we investigate this weird thing? Uh, we're almost upon it. Fish. Okay, why is that looking strange? Why is there a weird kind of glow over these fish? What's happening there? It's, oh, it's an odd eel. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind a distended rib cage. The rest of the fish is withered and drained. Okay, that, that's quite horrendous, isn't it? Right, let, let's just go home. We've had enough of this for one day. Enough of the weirdness. We're just going to go home in our little teeny tiny boat. Uh, right, okay, come on then. Let's go home. We'll uh, we'll deal with all the other stuff in the morning. But yeah, we'll just sort of pull up to the dock for now. There was that weird shape again in the background. Uh, yes, well, it's quite late. It's quite late. But we will have a chat with the builder. You've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Oh, okay. So now we pick you up and put you on board. Okay, right, hang on. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm onward bound. But now we're just going to go to bed. So just hold on a second, okay? <laughs> Wait there while we have a lovely sleep to try to get our sanity sorted out. That's good. Right, so six o'clock in the morning. Um, we could do with potentially, hang on, my storage. Let's put those rolls of cloth into there, look, because we don't need those. Um, and then if we are out and about over there, is it also worth dropping these bits off like that. Um, that fish will move you to there. Uh, that fish will just go and drop off with the fishmonger because we might as well. Some fish prefer deeper water, others stick to the shallows. Okay, right, so uh, that's that's nice, lovely. Can we give you that? Sell all fish, 57, 77. What happened to our other thing? What happened to that other thing? Is that gone? Has that offer gone? Oh, I think maybe has that offer. Hang on, have we missed out on that thing? Uh, right, would you like this terrifying looking thing for 57 money? That's good. Um, did we fail in our pursuit? Uh, no, it is still there. We just need to get another squid and the only bite at night. Okay, right, so I think now the cargo's looking good. Although, yeah, I've got that research part. Is it worth, where was that? Was that the dry dock? Remember, you don't have all the materials. Uh, I'd have to have them all at once. You can store them. Okay, that's fine. Um... They were the upgrades. Hang on, where was where was the research stuff? Was that the shipwright bit? Um, okay. Oh, she's given us a book. Correct engine operation. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, okay, right. So we've got a new book to read. This isn't where we do the researchy stuff either. Okay, I've forgotten where the research stuff is. Hang on a second. It's going to be around somewhere. It's going to be around somewhere. Cabin. Um, okay, what does that do then? That's just going to make our engine a bit quicker, possibly. Is that going to speed things up a little bit? I'm not quite sure. Uh, right, where is... Where's the research bit? Encyclopedia. That's useful. That's good to know. We've caught various exciting bits and bobs. 
Um, yeah, okay, right, where's where's the research thing? It's got to be around somewhere, I just can't recall exactly where it was. Oh, okay, it's right there, isn't it? Of course it is. It says research over it in big letters. Okay, so the cogs. So can we do anything with one research part? So rods, we're down to that one there. So we've got to get that one done. A flexible fishing pole, but that requires two research parts. Okay, and then in terms of engines, can we do anything? Yes, we could get the first engine research bit done which is an improved outboard engine okay so plus 15 knots which i think is about what we've got now it might be a tiny bit better so do you know what we've got one research part already with us let's get that done and that means we've got one bit of the rods done and then we can get the first bit of the engines done and then yeah if we do get that done that will show us what these things are including that because that requires five research parts and i don't know what that is so do you know what let's get that done Unlock that, please. Okay, so now we can get one of those from the shipwright, and that unlocks a twin prop engine. Okay, plus 35 knots. Okay, a refined outboard engine, plus 25 knots, or a jet drive engine. Okay, plus 9 knots. A relatively new design. This unit propels water through the system more effectively than outboard propeller setups, but it's only plus 9 knots. Oh, but it's smaller. Oh, it's only one little thing. So that takes up four, look. So you can have, uh, I don't know, nine, eight, you can have 36 knots from four of those or 35 knots from that one because it takes up the same four squares. Okay, right, I see. And that's going to be some sort of gigantic jet engines and there's some sort of massive propeller things. But okay, there we go. So let's use that up. That's okay. I don't think we need to invest in that right now. Have they got any of those? Um, they've got the improved outboard. Yeah, 15 knots. So what have we got now? Peculiar engine is 14, and that one is 10. How much is that? 200 monies. Do you know what? What if we get rid of the rusty outboard one? Because, you know, it's a bit rusty, and it could potentially fall apart. So sell that. I think we'll get rid of that one. So now I've got 429 monies, and then we can go and get an improved outboard. Let's treat ourselves to a slightly better engine to make us go a little bit quicker. So there we go, two hours. Sorry, passenger, I do apologise, builder. <laughs> Just hang around a bit longer, please. And I think that's it. I don't think we can do anything else. Um, I mean, yeah, the hydraulic rod would be good. But yeah, we'd have to lose one of these. That's shallows, that's coastal. Yeah, we'd lose the ability to fish in either the shallows or the coast because we'd have to replace. In fact, it'd be that one, wouldn't it? we'd lose the shallow fishing options because that would have to go in that block there. Okay, right, for now that doesn't matter. So, um, okay, eight o'clock in the morning of Monday, a lovely new week. Let's go and drop our passenger off. And then while we're out there, we can always go and grab the um, those other bits and bobs that were hanging around the edge of that island because there were all sorts of things we could go and grab. In fact, is there something there? I'm not just up for grabbing any old kind of uh, dredgeable stuff now, because we might as well. Yeah, we can go and grab this. This is fine. This is quite an easy one. Just hang around on the outside kind of bit for a while. And that is some wood. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Absolutely. Bit of lumber. We can use that for building stuff. And then, yeah, we'll head out to that island over there, and then we'll drop her off. And there were a few of the bits and bobs nearby, weren't they, on the shore? So, yeah, we're going to see what they are when we've dropped our passenger off. Okay, here we go. You have arrived at your destination, passenger friend. There we go. Yes. Yes, this will do. Thank you, fella. Absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back any time. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. <gasps> Two research parts. Oh, that's very generous of you. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. That might allow us to get another little bit of research done. Okay, undock from there. And we're going to head around here and try not to crash because there are a few bits floating around. So if we go to here, look, we'll dredge whatever that is in there. So go and grab that. This should be nice and simple. Don't know how many bits there are, but okay. So another bit of lumber and there is some more, which is good. So we'll just hop between the things. That's a nice long sort of bit on the edge there. Look, oh, apart from I just crashed a little bit. Um, and there we go. Right, so that's all dealt with. And then we can head over there, look, because I think that is also some sort of dredgeable items. I think we can go and grab that. Is that fabric? I don't know, it might be actual sort of um, scrap or whatever. That could be useful. That could be handy. Hang on, just grab it nice and quick. Uh, yeah, scrap, bits of scrap. Uh, put that up there. 
how many of these are we going to get? Because we haven't got that much room on the boat anymore. Right, just do that and boop. Okay, there is there's another bit of scrap down there, which I wouldn't mind getting our hands on. But can we fit everything in? That bit there needs to move, really. That bit there could do with moving about a bit. Um, okay, are we able? Hang on, move that up there. Move that into there. If we rotate that round somehow, put that down there just temporarily, put that into there. It's not going to work, is it? Oh, hang on. No, it might work. Hang on. And then we've got a gap just there. Oh, yes. Yay for inventory Tetris. Okay, yeah, we'll have another bit. Thank you. We shall have another bit of whatever it is you can find down there. And it looks like it's relatively easy to get. Some metal scraps. There's even more metal scraps. We can't fit them in. We've only got three spots left in the inventory on the entire boat, and they take up four. But that is a pretty good haul. Oh, it's very dark and very foggy. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, hang on. Is that light up? Right, put the light on so we don't lose our mind entirely. Um, okay, right. Let's try and head back home. We can follow the line of little sort of uh, lit up boy type things. Although there are rocks in the way. Don't crash into the rocks. Okay. There was a purple thing there. We're not going to go near the, well, purpley red thing at the minute. We're just going to go back home, drop these things off in the kind of storage thing. Oh, there's there's eyes. There are eyes appearing. Why are there eyes opening up everywhere? <laughs> okay. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We're all good. It's all... Avoid these rocks. We've crashed into these before. We don't want to do it again. Uh, we can't even get a squid. We can't even get a squid if there was one because there's no room. Okay, right. Everything is fine. We're back home now. We're back home. Panic over. Look, it's just normality. It's all good. Right. Okay, let's uh, drop into the dock and we'll drop our things off into storage, I think. So, yeah, can we just chuck all these things over? Just put all that in. All that in. Big load of planks. That's very good. Rotate that round. Uh, okay. And then we need... Oh, hang on. Another bit of that. We need to make a choice about what we do with our two research parts. Because now we've got a couple of them. So what do we do? Do we invest in a better one of these? So that, right, it's going to be that one, isn't it? Hang on. Flexible fishing pole. Uh, oh, ah, that could be what we need. Hang on. So if we get a flexible fishing pole, that can go into either coastal or shallow waters. At the moment, we've got two different rods that fish those two different areas individually. So if we get one rod to do that, that can live, hang on a minute, that can be on um, uh, ship, right? Yeah. So that fancy rod could be there and that'll free up that space for us to get the hydraulic rod when we can afford it. And that means we can then fish in the ocean and get bigger things, which I imagine commands a bigger fee. Oh, that's what we're going to do. That is absolutely what we do. That is brilliant. Okay, so can we please unlock the secrets of a flexible fishing pole? And there we go. It's now for sale. That's very good. The shipwright is awake at quarter past one in the morning, but okay. It's 460 of the monies. That's quite expensive. Okay, right. Let's go to bed and try and sort our sanity out. Right. Okay. Are we all okay? Are we all now fine again? Sound of mind and such. We need to go and just do some fishing. We need to get some cash in, I think. So, Joe, you know let's have a lovely day of fishing. No terrifying you know, visions in the dark or whatever. We'll just go and do some regular, ordinary fishing. We'll go and grab some fish, and then we'll finish up at the end of the day. We'll get some cash, and then maybe we can upgrade our sort of fishing I don't know, lines and poles and things. Although, we do need some cod oops, to um, complete that thing, don't we? That mysterious kind of thing. Uh, the stone, whatever it was. There's like a sort of a stone tablet type thing. We need to get that done as well. Uh, okay, right. We'll see what we get. We'll see what we get. If we get enough cod to do that kind of thing, then that's fine. But okay, we are picking up a few right now. So that's not too bad. Uh, okay, that's been completely depleted. Uh, right, okay. Let's go and do some more fishing. Okay, it's only one o'clock in the afternoon and we do have quite a good haul. So I think what we do is let's head around this corner and we will go and put those cod into that sort of weird block stone tablet -y thing around the corner. Um, yeah, if we just make our way round, can we fish them eventually when we come round? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, that's quite good. So here we go. There's that weird thing. There's that weird thing just there. So inspect that. Okay, so has it got our cod in it? Yes, it has. Right, so I think that's got to go... That's got to go like that. And I think that one's got to go in like that. 
and then we've got another one going in like that and then we need to have the final piece of cod in there and then that'll complete whatever the mystery of this rock slab is i don't quite know what's going on with that but okay right we're done for now um however what were those fish over there please be cod that would be useful. Can you be caught? You look like big kind of flat fish. No, they're not going to go with it. Um, okay, right. Also, somebody in the comments did point out that over there, there is a bit of a broken ship. So it might be worth having a nosy at that. Are you lot cod, by the way? Um, no. Do you know what, though? It's getting quite late. Let's just grab what we can. We'll just grab any old fish. Put that in for... Hang on. We want to keep room for a squid, don't we? We go back at the right time. Right, there we go. Inspect that. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Okay, look inside. Ooh. Oh, there are many handy things. A citrine ring. We'll take that. Another research part. Wonderful. An old iron chain. And two bits of lumber. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, right. We've got that. I think we head back home right now. Oh, there are many mysteries going on. Also, I'm not very good at, at piloting this boat. Uh, right, so head round the corner. We are moving a teeny tiny bit quicker than we were before because of our slightly better engine. So if we cash all this in, if we get rid of all these fish and store all that stuff away and then just nip back out to try to find one squid, then we can complete that mission with the um, with the fishmonger as well. But yeah, first things first, let's get this in. Right, so anytime you want to dock, there we go. Okay, so go to storage. So pop over a load of the wood that we've got. Um, we do need to go and visit the other guy again because we have got all these kind of uh, bits of jewellery and goblets and things now. Uh, we'll put the research part in over here as well just because that's taken a room over there. That can go over. That can go over. Right, and then we've got a load of fish. So pop over to the fishmonger. Yep, absolutely fine. Right, sell all that for only 82 monies. It's not very much, is it? It's slim pickings. But if it's now getting a bit late... If we can go and find some squid, that'd be really good. Can we get some squid? Are you squid? I think they're squid. I think that's squid. Hello, squiddies. There we go. Oh, it's a, it's a magic squid. It's a yellow squid. An arrow squid, in fact. So, okay. Are we okay to go and get some more? Are you going to be squid? Can you be squid? Uh, now, you're eels. But again, we'll just go and grab anything because it'll give us some money. Uh, oh, a barb deal. Oh, it's purple. It's a purpley one. It's an angry one. Okay, right. That's interesting. Uh, and we've got another one. And just catch another one. Oh, missed it. Botherations. Okay, boop. There we go. Right, that's been depleted. And now it is quite late. So let's head back. Oh, cracking nearly crashed. Nearly crashed. <laughs> it's all going to be fun. Um, yeah, so if we go back and we can eventually... Uh, yeah, we can turn that mission in with the fishmonger finally at long last right so there we go hello how are you fishmonger got any fish for that order yes and yeah that one not so bothered if it's a fancy one there 104 money that's good hands you some money i didn't think you had it in you night fishing is a tall order been meaning to touch about a new business venture i've been considering crab pots okay sounds interesting i've got one here for you in fact it's a bit banged up but you could get it fixed at the shipwright Okay, so a basic crab pot. It says that lasts for two days. Deploy a crab pot. Don't forget where you put it. Should be straightforward. Drop it out at sea anywhere. Then come back after a day or two to check on it. I've got a custom after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. Uh, oh, if you're ever hunting for a specific species, check your encyclopedia. It could have the information you need. Oh, so a crab pot costs 100 money. Okay, right, so we can buy crab pots from you. He's given us a slightly tired-looking one. Uh, okay, that's fine. Right, can we sell all that fish? Might as well get rid of all that. That's fine. Okay, that's done. So we've got a decent amount of money. Um, I think, then, what we do now is... Let's go and have a bit of a sleep. Nice, I was going to say early night, but it's coming up to midnight. But there you go. Right, so six in the morning. How about now we drop that crab pot off somewhere, but also... Let's go and take all these bits and bobs over to the um, the guy on the fancy island. Let's just go and take him all these things. I don't think these are the things that he's after, but I think we might be able to get some money for them, which could be useful. And then on the way, we'll drop the crab pot off because we don't know what we're doing with that quite yet. Okay, I mean, where do we put it? Can we put it... Oh, select the crab pot ability with E and deploy one with left click. 
They catch things over time, but need repairing. Okay, so if we just put one, I don't know, here, are we allowed to do that? So, crab pot. Okay, so we just drop it. And where do we, oh, like that. Oh, okay. Oh, it's got a little marker on it. I was going to say, do we have to remember where it is? But no, it's got a marker on it. Okay, that's good. That means I, I can you know, sort of uh, have a bit of awareness to where it is when I inevitably forget that we've done it. Right, head out over here. Oh, there's something weird over there. Okay, there's going to be a special, a special fish over here. Can we fish this? Yes, we can. Okay, we should possibly do this because that's got a weird fish. It's a many-eyed mackerel. Okay, that's a bit odd, but okie doke, that's what we get. And we'll have one of them. Just grab some more because we need some cash to do lots of stuff. Might as well just fish this while we're there. And then, yeah, hopefully Chappie can give us some money for those things we've found. Is that still going? Crikey, I thought that would have been long depleted. Okay, right, that's good. Oh, a lumpy mackerel. So we've got another lumpy one and now a many-eyed one as well. Okay, it's a bit weird round here, isn't it? A bit weird. Right, let's go and talk to Chappie. Hello, how are you? Trying to crash into your island. Okay, so pull up at the dock. And, okay, chat to you. Ruin Mansion, what is it? Take a look at these trinkets. Is anything good? Do not bother me with common clutter. I hate the trader in Little Marrow deals with such trivialities. Oh, okay, anything else? Okay, right. Hang on. Uh, farewell. That was It was lovely to chat to you, but we're going to go away now. We're going to go back to Little Marrow. Hang on a minute. Let's go to Little Marrow. Okay, here we are at Little Marrow, just pulling up to the dock. Right, trader. Hello, how are you? You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewellery and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Very fancy. Hello. Is that... Uh, no, uh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Okay, bit suspicious, but okie doke. I specialise in antiques and jewellery. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today? Perhaps we've got a few things. So we can get 15 for that gold ring. We can get 750 for a fairly scabby iron chain. We get 35 for the goblet. And we get 25 for that citrine ring. Okay, so in total it's 8250. Do you know what? Yeah, have all of those things. You're absolutely welcome. Is that it? Is that it? Okay, oh, grieving father. Okay, the dock worker. Let's chat with the dock worker. How's the day treating you? Uh, do you have process shipments for Blackstone Isle? Okay, let's ask him that. That old ruin? Doubt it. Uh, let's see. He flicks through a large log book. It appears to be a record of shipping manifest. Thought so. It doesn't even have a shipping address. As far as I know, nobody lives there. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know any shipwrecks? I know there are a few around the eastern side of the island, mostly rotted away by now, I'd expect, or dashed apart by the waves. Poor souls keep hitting rocks in the fog, I guess. Yeah, we did something similar. It's fine. There's a blind spot back there where the lighthouse can't be seen. People get turned around. Okay. Do you know anything about any strange occurrences? I overheard a tale in the tavern some years ago. Oh, we love a tale from a tavern, because they're always completely true, obviously. Sounded pretty strange to me. Supposedly, some 20 odd years ago, a fisherman from these parts hold up an old seal casket from the sea floor. They pried it open and took what was inside for themselves. That very night, the fog rolled in for the first time, and it has cloaked the seas every night since. What was in that accursed casket? Nobody knows. All of the crew that laid eyes on its contents went mad, or worse. The casket and crew have since disappeared without a trace, but the fog remains. Crazy stuff, huh? It does sound a bit crazy. Uh, and then, yeah, just conversation. What's it like working on the docks? As changeable as the weather. Ha! Most days it's pretty quiet. The pay's not too great, but the work's straightforward. That suits me to a T. It's good to get that fresh sea breeze without actually being out on the water. No offence, but you wouldn't get me out on those seas every day. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I better go. Right, chat to the grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? Um... I kind of feel like, should we not ask you about the fact that you're grieving? We're just going to go straight in for the shipwrecks. Um, okay, shipwrecks. I mean, maybe you lost somebody on a shipwreck. We'll go for that. Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. Good grief, it's got very dark all of a sudden. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. Oh, can we give him a hug? I was wondering... I notice you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I recognise it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. 
Okay, so look for a bronze belt buckle. And then, yeah, what about strange things going on? Any ideas? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. Ah, okay, another mention of the old mayor again. Uh, what an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen. Howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Okay. <laughs> Crikey's. Um, right. So what should we do now? I think if we could go and find one more cod, that would be brilliant. Because then we can put that into that mysterious tablet thing. Uh, and then it'll all be done. Here we go. Here we go. And they do fetch a pretty good price as well. So if we could catch one and just you know, keep it for ourselves, that would be quite good. But there's the one we need to put into that thing. And anything else is just a bonus for us, which is nice. Right, hang on. So do that. And pop, and pop, and pop. I mean, yeah, we're all right at that. Oh, okay. It's an all-seeing cod. <laughs> okay, we've got a weird one. Staring outwards, unblinking. Eyes borrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. Okay, there are some fairly disturbing things around. Uh, I think, then, let's head... Can we get over there and back, do we think? With our little teeny tiny engine set up. I think we might be okay. We might be okay if we can just make our way round. We should be good. Yeah, we have picked up quite a few extra little sort of uh, missions now. We have picked up quite a few things. What is that in front of us? What's that over there? So we're looking at... Oh, Twisted Strand. Oh, no, hang on. No, that's that there, isn't it? We're looking at that little set of islands. Okay, Twisted Strand is in that direction. Okay, what do we do with this? A slab of rock juts from the water. So... Grab that, uh, rotate it round so it fits, and boop. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something has lodged against the rock. Okay, a sinew spindle. What does that do? A handline reel wrapped in a length of stretchy sinew. One end is grafted to a crude bone hook. Okay, so we've got a fishing rod made out of sinew. Okay, that's that's a bit grim, isn't it? Okay, we'll we'll put that into the uh, oh, hang on, into storage. We can't seem to we can't fit it. I don't think. Um, yeah, can we can we store it? Have we got that in storage now, or is it in there somewhere? Oh, hang on a minute. Where's oh, where's that thing gone? It says E. Um, can we look? Oh, hang on. We need our lights on as well. Uh, where's our storage? Uh, cabin. Encyclopedia, tab, uh, I think, have we just lost that thing? Did we just lose where it was? Or has it gone to our storage back at the thing? Have we sort of stored it away back at the, back at the island? Now I'm not so sure. Okay, right, let's head back home then. We've completed the mysterious kind of tablety thing. If we've got any room left, we could catch one thing possibly. Uh, let's grab something from here. Look, nice and easy. One thing, nice bit of money. Wonderful. And that's all we're going to get anyway, because that's now depleted. Okie doke. Right, so head back home and we'll speak to the uh, speak to the fishmonger, sell him some stuff, try and make a bit of money. And, oh, okay. They, do they just change? They might have possibly changed fish just then. But okay, right, so let's head back around the corner. Um, our fishing pot is still there. I can see it floating about on the, well, sort of the marker on the surface, which is good. And we're going to be back in plenty of time. This is good. This is good. So, do a bit of a handbrake. Turn in front of the dock and pull in. And there we go. Right, go to the fishmonger. Uh, right, get rid of all these things. Get rid of all of these things. 164.94. Profit mongus. Okay, we've got quite a big pile of cash now. That's very nice. And then we talk to the shipwright. Um... Hang on. So how do we... Where was that thing? Where's the thing? Is it in storage over here? Oh, right. So we can send things back. Okay, so we've got the sinew spindle. So plus 6% fishing speed, coastal and shallow. So that could replace that thing just there. And it's two slots. So, okay, so coastal and shallow plus 6% speed. If we then go and have a look at what else there is. So that thing is coastal and shallow, plus 50% speed. That is significantly quicker than the other thing we've got. I think we buy that and replace that and then sell that and then eventually save it for a hydraulic rod so we can go and do some ocean fishing. So, okay, 
we will have, in fact, we need to sell that first. Sell the basic fishing pole, get rid of that, and then buy one of those, please, and then put that into there. Okay, so three hours go by. It's a bit late. Uh, we can't quite afford that thing now, but we're not too far off. So we're getting there. We're sorting our boat out a little bit, which is good. Um, and I think that will do for now. So what do we need to do? What's on our current list of things to do? So search for relics. That's fine. Find a belt buckle on a little marrow. That might be worth doing. And then, yeah, do some crab stuff, which is fine. Common crab and a fiddler crab. So yeah, the big thing really, we can do that fairly easily. I imagine, is that marked on the map somehow? Is that marked on the map? Yeah, there's a marker on the map there. And then possibly, yeah, we should. There's our little sort of marker for our crabbing pot thing. That's quite helpful. We should possibly head out to there as well and find those relics. We've not really been over there. We've only sort of been around here and out to there and out to there. We've not been around the back of Little Marrow and we've not been around the back properly of Greater Marrow. Definitely not down there. So I think we'll wrap things up for now and we'll come back next time and do some exploring around the Marrows. We shall go and do some marrow adventuring. We'll go and get that belt buckle and we'll go and see what's over there. But I think, is that not where the weird purpley wibbly light stuff's coming from? That might be there. So, okay, so we might get some weird stuff happening next time. But, you know, this is dredge. Weird stuff happens all the time. It's a weird kind of place. So, okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll finish up for now, come back next time, and then we'll just, yeah, go and do some exploring and grab some relics and things. And then also as well, actually, we have picked up quite a bit of cloth and lumber and scraps. We could potentially look at doing some upgrades over here. Look, we could do with doing some of this. We could get some extra rod spaces, or we could get, I don't know, some more engine capacity, or we could hold another light or whatever. That might also be worth thinking about, because I think if we get all those, do we then get a new hull? A tier two hull upgrade, five more cargo spots. That could be quite good as well. We're not quite there yet with the materials, but we've got to get these done first, I think. So it might be worth trying to work toward that as well at some point. But they go plenty to do, absolutely loads to do. In fact, you know, we'll go to sleep now. Have a bit of a rest, and then when we come back next time, it's going to be a brand new day, 6 o'clock in the morning on Thursday of day 11. And then, yeah, now we're ready to go when we come back next time. So, yeah, we'll finish things up for the moment, but next time, plenty of exploring to do. Hopefully, you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most wonderful indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Dredge. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. For as we all know, with cake comes spiritual enlightenment enlightenment and also happiness. That smell is totally not coming from any dark elder gods. Nope, not even a little bit. Okay, so a little picture of us on the wall, just to remind everybody who's in charge around here. Oh, and this person here is saying, Penge, you're my friend. Tom, you're my friend too. Nobody likes a soggy bottom.